2019 has been tough for egg growers, squeezed by low returns from supermarkets, paying a premium for feed because of the drought, and the decline of caged egg sales has left many facing financial ruin. Well, not only in Western Australia, but all over Australia, the larger supermarkets need to give the egg farmers a fair go. Last March, Coles pulled caged eggs off their shelves and dropped the price of free-range and barn-laid eggs. WA growers were caught with unwanted product and lower income for their premium lines. The kind of prices that I'm seeing in the larger supermarkets, I couldn't even grow eggs for that kind of price. It's, it just seems ridiculous to me. Growers say Coles' decision to bring forward the ban on the sale of caged eggs has distorted the market and hurt budget-conscious consumers. So they're just taking away the choices of the people who buy caged eggs and often it's people on a really low income and they can't afford to pay the money for the free range. In a statement, Coles says the move came after consultation with suppliers. Coles removed caged shell eggs from WA stores in March as part of our commitment to sell only cage-free shell eggs by 2023. Industry says the sudden move to stop caged egg sales early means some farms have reduced hen numbers because there was nowhere to sell the product. We can see that there's going to be some shortages uh, in the future if uh, things don't change. They want the power of a parliamentary inquiry to help strike a fairer deal for growers. I think uh, they've tried negotiating with the, the large supermarkets and they haven't been successful so far. It's a bit like the dairy industry. Uh, the supermarkets had to be dragged kicking and screaming to pass on even a tiny percentage uh, to dairy farmers. Nothing different here about egg producers. Coles has increased the amount of eggs we are purchasing from our WA suppliers and we're working with them to improve availability to meet this increase in demand. A petition calling for an inquiry will be presented to the WA Upper House in February. Mark Bennett, ABC News, Albany.